new segments. As we are about to celebrate Thanksgiving, I wanted you to ponder, think on these things. Because it seems to appear that when we approach Thanksgiving, we only think about the pilgrims and the new Americas and the food and the trimmings, the turkey and all of those things. But there's more to Thanksgiving than just that and a particular day. For the child of God, every day is Thanksgiving. Every day that you open your eyes and see it's a new day. It's Thanksgiving. Thank him for your life, the small things that you do not deem necessary, the breath in your lungs. It was loaned to you by the Father. He blew the breath of life and you became a living soul when you were dead in your trespasses and your sins. Thank him for the people that he placed in your path, whether it be for good or evil, for he causes all things to work together for your good and my good. Thank him for the good times and the bad times, the hard times, the times when you stumble and you even fell Thank him. He's working it for your good. Your jobs, even your bosses, your irritable bosses. You hate your bosses, some of us you do. Not us, not me, but some of you do. Because they rub you in every way. But still, thank God for them. We need to grow in our understanding, grow in our walk with God. He didn't promise us a bed of roses. He didn't promise us everything would be smooth. In fact, when he said, take up your cross and follow me, he meant to take up your cross. Is a cross a good thing? No, it represents death. That means you must die in every area of your life. So be thankful even for the cross. The master is coming back. You must be ready and prepared. The patriarchs of old, they suffered for the sake of Jesus. They suffered for the sake of the gospel. But we are so petty in our ways and our mind of thinking. We must come up to full stature in our thinking and our mindset. We must renew our minds every single day of the year. He's waiting on us. We are so petty. Remember who we are, we're soldiers in the army and you take any and everything. The lieutenant gives the instructions and you cannot have a hint of fear when you're a soldier. That's why he told us, don't worry, don't fear, don't walk in fear. He didn't give us the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. Talking about the mind now needs to come up. So we murmur and grumble and complain. I do it too, yeah. I'm, I'm just transparent and human like everyone else. But it comes to a point in your life and do you want to grow or do you want to remain stagnant? Because if there's no growth, then God can't use you. Sila. So I'm saying all of that to say this. Be thankful for everything that the Lord allows. Remember, if he did not allow it, it would not come into fruition. Be thankful for everything. You lost your car, it hurts, yes, got to catch the bus, be thankful. I murmured too. Maybe, just maybe there's someone on that bus, the bus stop, the bus station that you need to tell about the Lord. 
You need to minister to them. Be thankful. You lost your home? Be thankful too? Yeah, it's hard. Been there. But maybe, just maybe there's someone in that shelter or wherever you're staying that needs to hear about the Lord, see Christ in you and be drawn to Him through your life. Be thankful in this Thanksgiving. This is still morning glory, using the word thankful as we approach that season or a day before Thanksgiving. Just want to remind you, no money in the bank, be thankful. The Lord said he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus. Be thankful this morning, little ones. You have a hope and glory. This whole corruptible world system is getting ready to cease, but you know you have a hope. Be thankful that you are one of the chosen ones. You are God's bejeweled. Be thankful that he snatched you. Be thankful. Others didn't get the chance, but you did when COVID came. It took out so many people, but you're here. Be thankful and bless the name of the Lord. So this morning, I want you, when tomorrow comes, look at Thanksgiving with another approach. Look at it through a different mindset, different eyes. Be thankful not only for the food that you're going to eat, the fellowship with families and friends, but be thankful for all things, for this is the will of the Father concerning your life. Be thankful. We are so ungrateful these days and think God owes us something. No, we owe him. He gave up his life. Isn't that enough? Shed every drop, not one ounce was left in him for you he thought about you and I be thankful be thankful be thankful now think of these things and be mindful that God loves you with an everlasting love you will never experience love until you experience the unconditional love of Christ. Be thankful. So until next time, this is Marjorie McAllister signing off from restoring broken vessels and walking in newness, morning glory that came to help jumpstart your day. May the peace of God embrace you this morning, envelop you. Until next time. I love you with the love of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. And it is so.